Welcome to Volume 3 Layout Tutorial for Engineering. First, let's dive into Volume 3 Engineering Course, Lesson 1, 2D Architectural. If you can see, there's a sample here called Box House, the same Box House in Volume 2 that has been updated. Open your layout file, and let's import this Box House into Layout. Here we will have a recap of Volume 2, a very quick demonstration of Architectural. Once layout has been opened, click on A3 Landscape, it's a blank template, and right click on the paper space, make sure grid snap is off, and object snap is on. Go to File Insert, and choose that box house in Lesson 1. Once the SketchUp model has been inserted, you can see the last saved view. And the first thing we're going to do is to make it into scene number one. Right click, scenes, one. That is our first floor. Before doing anything else, right click and choose the scale. Scale, one is to 100. It might be too small, so let's try to make it a little bit bigger. Let's open our SketchUp model tray to the right. Look at the scale, camera, ortho, and add custom scale. We want our custom scale to be 1 is to 75. So here we can just put the ratio 1 is to 75. And let's have it in meters for both sides. Press add custom scale. And we can find it now, so 1 is to 75. It makes the scale a little bit bigger. And we can duplicate this floor plan by dragging to the right and holding control at the same time. So plus sign shows up. So that we can lock it to the horizontal axis, hold down shift as well. Release your right hand. Wait for the scene to load, and then release your left hand. That way we will avoid some lag. Make this scene the second floor, scene 2. And let's go to the next page. Instead of adding a new page, I can choose to duplicate this page by going to Pages. Duplicate selected page. Double plus sign. Now we have page 1 and page 2 with the same look. Right click the viewport on page 2 and go to scene number 3. And this will be scene number 4. Now we have our plans all ready. If you want to complete it more you can just duplicate again. And go to the next scene such as the building scene which is in front view. Make this also a building scene, but this time change the standard view to back. Duplicate the page again. Make this standard view the left side. This standard view the right side. Duplicate the page again. And choose the scene X for section. If you notice, it did not update to the section view, just the cut. That's because our SketchUp model retained the view to be in the left. Now reset that camera and we will get our scene view. Go here and make that the section Y scene. You can access that as well here and right click. And reset that camera to have our longitudinal section. One more duplicate of the page and we can have the last scenes the doors and windows, and the stairs. For these doors and windows, you can just right-click, 
open with SketchUp, and copy-paste the doors and windows there. Another way to do this is, of course, to go parallel projection, let's say front view, and select all the windows and doors nearest to you. We don't want it in perspective view. We can go to the SketchUp model and change the raster to, let's say, vector. Right click and explode. Now it retains the current scale based from the scene. A scale is basically a group, so if you double click that, you can still select them and see how they look like. And there we have all the doors and windows on our front elevation. Of course, this is the unconventional way to do it because you have to see which is door 1 and door 2 from your plan. The point here is that if you want to go uh, light size or the file will be lighter, you can explode it but you cannot revert it back to SketchUp anymore. Let's go back to our first page. We have our first floor and our second floor. What we're going to arrange next is our layer. Our layer tray is found on to the right or depending where you place them. Currently all our layer Drawings are in default because the pencil was there when we drew it and the little blue dot shows up when we select the scene. Let's add the first layer and call it the drawing title or just the title. And in our title we can drag and drop a scrapbook. We have here we call the Kimbook Architectural. So if you have that in your scrapbooks you can just drag and drop a title, such as this vicinity map, ground floor plan. This specific scrapbook follows the name of the page, so I'll just call this floor plan. And put the word ground before that, or first floor. Put it to the left, make a copy to the right and call it second change this drawing number to number two don't worry about the page number because it will update by itself now we're done with the drawing title we can go and add a new layer plus let's add the dimensions or dim for dimensions you can do your Overall dimension first, make sure you're locking towards the drawing, and then any exterior partition, you have to turn that off, so go to dimension style, disable the leader style to no leader, double click, and then you can have your interior partitions afterwards. However, what's important here is a column to column dimension, which we will go to next. Let's add a layer called column grid so that we can use this in our structural as well. For column grid, we also have that in our scrapbook Krim, Kim book, first page, and just drag and drop. For these index keys, you can just look for the first column. Place it in the side and the top if you don't want it center to center and that's your discretion. You can number these two and three depending on how you would read it on site. Personally I would read this as first, second and third. But because now I have to move their tails and I don't want to do it inside the groups, I can right click and ungroup. This way I could select all the tails together at the same time and see their alignment on the other side of the building. I can ungroup this as early as now as well to prepare for that same situation. 
Pressing my arrow keys, I can also go one dot at a time towards my columns. This will be letter B. Nope. And letter C. Remember your selection from right to left will select everything on its path, while left to right will only select what's inside the selection box. If I click on this, they are still basically one group because I have edited them inside. However, just like in SketchUp, I can disable visibility from the outside by going to View, Group Edit, Hide Rest of Document. My shortcut here will be the same as Hide Rest of Model in SketchUp, which is Shift plus V. I can just copy and paste this over the other side by dragging it with the control keyboard button. Can adjust that with the arrows again. And I can also adjust the dimensions. Adjusting doesn't really affect the layer, but drawing a new entity will go to the layer where the pencil icon is. Right, for now, we need this exact same layout for our structural drawings. The dimensions can follow later. So let's say we'll copy this grid, Control c go to the next page, Control v paste, and they're basically aligned, because they're in the same scale. Let's try the same thing here for our elevations. And we already have index keys for our front elevation. For our rear elevation, or the back side, I know that letter A starts here, so I could just flip, right-click, flip, left to right. Or my shortcut, Shift-F. Move it towards there. And I have to flip the letters back again, so right click, flip, left to right, or shortcut shift F. A lot easier. Basically I'm done with that. I go here, paste the same thing, but this time I need 1, 2, 3 to be above. So I'll know that it starts here from the right side view. I just rotate it 90 degrees. And then I try to align number 1 where I know the grid will hit the column. I don't need this ABC. I can just copy this towards the other side and do my Shift F again or flip from left to right. Done with elevation. Let's analyze our section. This is from the front view and this is from the left side. So getting from my left side, I can copy that and paste it to the left side. I know this is from the front view because I put the section plane over there so I could just copy paste this towards that section. We're basically done with 2D architectural here, as you can go next towards text, tags, and labels. Your text will basically be the name of the room, such as family area. Your tags will basically be your doors and windows, which you can find here as well. Door number two, and just move it to the tag layer. Or door number one. Before we move on to our lesson two, let's find out how to open a scrapbook. So what you could do is you open this Kimbook by double clicking it in your volume three folder. Go to file, save as scrapbook. And you can name your scrapbook whatever you want. Let's say for now, Kimbook as well. Enter. Do you want to overwrite? Yes. Or for your case, do you want to save? And once you save that, the next time you go into your scrapbooks, 
you will find it down here. Arrows, Cars, Colors, Kinbook. And we will use the same scrapbook for our engineering documents. If you see here, I have also placed some things for your site development plan and your first page as well. Now let's try to add a site development plan for this. It's already a scene called SDP or site. Right click, scene, SDP. And then make the scale smaller, let's say on this to 120. If we scale this right now, the whole thing will move forward. So I'll make sure that preserve scale to resize is on. And I can scale it both ways. So hold down Alt. And show the whole site development plan. It's a bit too big, so I can make it smaller. Maybe one is 200. One is to 200. That will be my site development plan. My perspective will be up here. Scene is render. This one I don't need a specific scale, so I can just zoom out according to the viewport. So I'll set my viewport first, or the scene. And basically this is the content of your first page. Just add the title blocks and those technical descriptions. And for the rest of the document, you can choose whether to have the stairs and structural or to show the basic design here. Let's save this for our structural layout. File, save, save it as lesson one, box house, architectural, save. Now we're done with architectural. Let's go and I'll see you in lesson two. Make sure to save and always remember, have fun.